Hi, I'll be your Zaption guide for today. You might think that you already understand what it means for something to be hot or cold. So how would learning about chemistry help us understand this better? Well, we're going to show you some little street experiments that might shake you up a bit, and then use science concepts to help us make sense of our new world. In the last video, you saw that two objects can have the same temperature as measured by a thermometer, but one can feel colder than the other. Let's see what's going on at the molecular level to understand why this is happening. When you look at things at the molecular level, that's chemistry. So the big idea here is that there are really two different things being talked about, heat and temperature. Heat is all about how much thermal energy or molecular jiggliness is transferred to or from objects. When we talk about <clears throat> how hot or cold an object feels, that is the transfer of thermal energy on your skin. It's one of the objects, right? A hot object transfers energy to your skin and a cold object conducts energy away from your skin. Temperature is a totally different aspect of the object. Temperature is strictly a measure of how much thermal energy an object has. An object has, with a high temperature has a lot of molecular jiggliness, but that information doesn't tell you how it's going to feel on your skin. The temperature you actually sense is the temperature of your own skin, your own molecular jiggliness, not the temperature of the object. At the beginning of the street experiments, people are using temperature and heat interchangeably, and that's what causes this confusion. They treat them like they're the same thing instead of treating them as two different dimensions of an object. This distinction is important to keep an eye on as you go through chemistry. You'll see calculations that include temperature, often measured in Celsius, alongside with totally different numbers and variables representing quantity of heat, specific heat, heat capacity, etc. Keep in mind that all of these concepts are distinct and different from one another, and really try to explain to yourself exactly how they are different. All right, bye!